Day Eve. And you know what is coming out today at 11 a.m.? The Climate Prediction Center, uh, well, along with NOAA, they're issuing their winter outlook for 2021-2022. And in September, the CPC issued their three-month outlook for November, December, and January. And I think it hints at what we're going to hear today from NOAA. As far as the precipitation goes, see the brown color here over Florida and southeast Georgia. Looks like we could be drier than average for the next several months. And then as far as temperatures go, you can guess what these red colors mean. Warmer than average. Now, last year we had one of our coldest winters in 10 years. Now, that doesn't mean we can't see this extreme cold weather from time to time, but as a whole, November, December and January could be on the warmer side. And that is partly thanks to La Nina. What is La Nina? A lot of folks ask, right? Because there's a big difference between La Nina and the opposite El Nino. Well, typically we see these trade winds blow and push those warm waters toward Asia, but when we have a La Nina pattern, these trade winds are stronger and so it allows that cooler water in the eastern Pacific towards South America and even California to well, up well, and so we see cooler sea surface temperatures as a result and into winter that pushes our jet stream up to the north. And so therefore the southeast, the deep south is typically drier and warmer. All right, right now we are going to be mostly dry and warm, but see this sun halo right here from our first coast news weather watcher Chrissy that indicates that we've got